Hey, welcome to July in elementary and preteen. This month we're wrapping up our summer series, Make Waves. Make Waves means this, what you do today can change the world around you. Let's jump in to our weekly lesson. All right, everybody. friend what's up uh, that doesn't sound good want to talk about it you went to the dentist's office because of a toothache and they gave you numbing cream for your mouth but you used too much of the numbing cream and now you can't talk <laughs> yeah. oh it gets worse Baby, baby. Oh, you used too much of the numbing cream on your mouth and it got all over your hands and now the numbing cream makes your hands numb too. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, man. Hey, uh, hey let, let me see that. Let me see that. Yeah, yeah. 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 Oh, I'll get it. I will yeah. get it. <sighs> all right, let's see here. Ah, okay. Uh, it, it, uh, it says if you accidentally use too much of the numbing cream, you should eat a banana and it should reverse the effects. A baby? Yeah, a banana. It says it right here. Oh, there's, if you need one.
<laughs> okay. Mm. Okay. I'm sorry. What? You don't need to eat a banana. I just wanted to see you do that. It says here that the effect should reverse in a couple of minutes. But that is very funny. <laughs> oh! No! 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 Please, no! I'm Brandon. And I'm John. And welcome, welcome to, to the So and So Show. And do we have a show for you today? It's time to play. Simone says. You must do what Simone says, but only when Simone says, Simone says. Did you know this was happening? I usually don't. Okay, sure, we'll play. I'm guessing it's like Simon says, but with Simone? You are correct. I rule at this game, but what happens when we mess up? You will be hit in the face with a pancake. Awesome! Simone says, stand up. Easy enough. Mm -hmm. So on today's show, we're talking about self-control, having control over what we say and do. Simone says, turn around five times. Uh, I'm glad because I sometimes have trouble, uh, you know, uh, with uh, eating myself, especially when it comes to food like candy or Twinkies or candy. Ooh. Simone says, rub your belly and pat your head. Yeah, for me, it's my temper. Uh, I lose control sometimes when things don't work out the way I think they should. Simone says, quit rubbing your belly and patting your head. See, so I'll say things that I regret. Sit and... down. Oh. Uh-uh-uh, Simone didn't say. I didn't sit all the way down. I didn't sit all the way down. Temper, temper. You're right. Control. Mm -hmm. I have trouble controlling the things I say, too. Like uh, when... Uh, Simone says, don't say the word the. Oh. Like when I'm having an argument and I think of, uh, you know, a, a perfect word, but not just any insult, you know, that one that really hurts someone. Uh, sometimes it just slips out and I can't control it. Uh-huh. Tell me more. Why are you making me do all... Why do I have to say everything? It's fun for me. Simone says, stick your fingers up your nose. Well, it's not fun for me. I told you, I had a problem controlling my words, and now I can't say, you know, that word that's really common in our language, which is English. Simone says, recite this tongue twister. Without saying th that word? Whether... Weather is cold, or weather, weather is hot. Will weather, weather, whatever, weather, whether we like it or not. I did it. <laughs> now say it with the word the. <laughs> whether the weather is cold, whether the weather is hot, will weather the weather, whatever the weather, whether we like it or not. Boom. Simone didn't say. Oh man. <laughs> Simone says, "Take your fingers out of your nose." <sighs> Simone says, you can say the word the. Thank you, the, 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 Missed you, the. Simone says, you can now only speak in questions. So, what do you want to talk about? What do you want to talk about? What's your favorite movie? Uh, oh brother, where art thou? What's your favorite song? Do you really want to hurt me? <laughs> Do you know what it's time for now? It's Bible story time with... Kellen? <laughs> nope. <laughs> you lost! So did you. Simone says, thank you for playing. And now it's time for Bible story time with Kellen. Hey guys, how's it going? Just playing a rousing game of Simone Says. It was more challenging than I thought it would be. Oh yeah, you don't want to mess with Simone. Her words are powerful, which is what today's Bible story is all about. Then take it away. Today's story comes from the book of James. James was Jesus' brother, so you know James had heard some incredible words in his life and knew how important they could be. 
James wrote that if you could keep your tongue or your words under control, then you could control the whole body. James compared our tongue to different things. Here's what he wrote. We put a small piece of metal in the mouth of a horse to make it obey us. We can control the whole animal with it. So the bit for a horse is small, but it helps steer the whole big horse. Our tongues or our words can help steer us. Let's see how this plays out for our friends, Count Lupe and Mr. Fritter. There is nothing like taming a wild beast, hey, Mr. Fritter? I wouldn't call Sunshine here wild. He's a nice old boy, aren't you? Puppycock, he is a fierce animal, and I his conqueror. Move, beast. Yaw, yaw! Maybe he'll listen if you talk a little nicer, Count. A kind word can go a long way, you know. Never, Mr. Fritter. I must show this foul beast who is the boss. Go forth, you smelly, stinky horse. Go forth. Oh, dear. Ow! <laughs> Medic. Sometimes when we don't use our words wisely, things can get out of control. You use a hurtful word, and you end up being the one who gets hurt. Next, James compares her tongue to the rudder of a ship. And how about ships? They are very big. They are driven along by strong winds, but they are steered by a very small rudder. It makes them go where the captain wants to go. Again, our tongues are very small, but they can make a big impact. Oh, button down the hatches. Tie the anchor to the top sail. Get ready to box the compass. I beg your pardon, Count, but I have no idea what you just said. It doesn't matter what I said, Mr. Fritter. I am the captain. You are the first mate. You're just supposed to do it. Aye, aye, Captain. That's more like it. I will have this ship ship shape. <laughs> I tried to do what you said, Count. I, I mean, Captain, but I don't think I did it Enough quite Enough excuses. Right. Lower the anchor, Mr. Fritter. Are you sure? I'll do it, but if you could just be a little more patient with me. I, I am the captain. Lower the anchor. Aye, aye, captain. <laughs> oh, dear. Sometimes when we're in charge, we're tempted to be mean. But you have a greater responsibility to control your tongue when you have people who rely on you. James goes on to compare the tongue to a fire that's out of control. I would see how Count Lupe and Mr. Fritter dealt with it, but I think we can guess. Woo! That is hot! Whoa! Oh, no! Whoa! So clearly, James believed that the tongue or our words are important. When you don't control what you say, there will be consequences. James goes on to write that no one can tame the tongue. So, if you really want to control your words, you're going to need help. That's one of the reasons God has given us the Holy Spirit, to help us have self-control over what we say and do. Back to you guys. Thanks, Kellen. Wow. wow. Mm -hmm. Something so tiny, controlling my whole body. I always thought that my tongue was pretty long. <laughs> 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 Reveal the question! Oh, yeah. What can happen when you lose control? John? Why are you asking me? You're acting like that happens to me all the time. Does it? No. Maybe. Yes. Okay, yes. I, it happens, and I end up having to apologize, and it feels terrible, and I don't like it. But I work really hard for it not to happen. How about you? What can happen when you lose control? Can you hurt someone's feelings? Yeah. Do you break something? Mm. Do you eat too much? Ooh, like candy or Twinkies or candy. <laughs> Talk about it together. Yeah, and we'll see you next time on the So-and-So Show. Simone says, lift your feet up as high as you can. Whoa. Simone says, roll over. Uh -oh. <laughs> Simone says, waddle like a penguin. Simone says, 
Be a beautiful butterfly princess. Simone says, act like a monkey. <laughs> <laughs> we are so glad you have joined us. Keep making waves and making an impact in the community you live in and with the people you see every day. Our memory verse this month is from Philippians 1.6, and it says this, God began a good work in you, and I am sure that he will carry it on until it is completed. That will be on the day Christ Jesus returns. Well, friends, We'll see you back here next week.